My name is Noah Robert. I'm a video producer and an outdoorsman born and raised in South Florida. I filmed and fished all over the world, and now I work at SA Company. This week, my friend Ryan invited me on his annual fly fishing trip to Utah. I knew it was going to be cold, but I had no idea what I was in for. We are in the Salt Lake City Airport. I'm waiting on my buddy Ryan to show up. We got our bags. Look who it is. Woo! What's, What's going on, guys? What's going on, man? After dealing with the hassle of getting a rental car, we began our drive towards Provo. But first, we stopped at the world famous In N Out Burger. Woohoo! Holy drive through. <laughs> Isn't everything it's cracked up to be? No. First, we were in, and now I guess we are out. <laughs> Alright, so we have a plan. Today, we are going to start by going up into some trails. We're going to try to find a waterfall. We don't know what it's going to look like in the winter. Every picture we see is during the spring or summer, so I guess we're going to go find out. What do you think, Ryan? That's all you got to do. Let's go find out. Our first spot on our hike is on a closed down service road. There were bridges, rivers, and mountains. It was a really epic spot to stop and film some content. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've never been here. This is pretty epic. It's just me and Noah out here. There's no one else. So we're gonna go up this path. Looks like somebody's been there, but we're gonna go up this path and we're gonna go over this waterfall. It's running, so the photo content should be awesome. We got most of the way up the slope. It's getting a little too dangerous. We were burning daylight fast and it was getting colder by the minute. Plus we had a bit of a hike to get back to the car. So we got as close as we could to the waterfall and made our way back down. It's day two. Today's the actual day of fly fishing. We kind of got our asses handed to us on the mountain yesterday, so we're hoping for redemption. We... Yeah, that was pretty... <laughs> uh, we... Florida boys and some snow oh. and some tennis shoes didn't work out very well. It was bad. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't, it wasn't awesome. And hopefully we're gonna get into some brown trout, some rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. What else? Uh, those are pretty much our two targets for today. Is there any bycatch? Uh, no. Probably not. That's the way I like to fish. Our guide Chris lives about 20 minutes outside of town. Fortunately, we had an epic sunrise to watch along the way. Gorgeous. Yeah, I, that's all we need is some waders, some boots. Um, and that's it. Oh, yeah, we got the jackets taken care of and the face shields. Okay. Well, I don't want to hear no whining out there. Oh, that's all Noah's, that's all Noah's in. Okay. He's never done this. Noah, all right. Noah tall? Noah's about uh, six foot. Six foot cool. Six right, foot, luscious, good. beautiful. <laughs> Jewish. Jewish. He's Jewish? <laughs> oh, man, I've done this trip probably like, this will be my fifth time. It's epic every time. I've come here three different, you know, two different seasons, cold or summer. The coldest is the funnest because there's not, you know, there's just not so many people around you. I mean, forever to do this. What up? What up? <laughs> long time, long time, man. Yeah, Let's right. do this. All right. Ready to go fly fishing? I'm down. Show us the holes. Let's go. Oh, it's eight degrees. Check out all the wild turkey right here standing in the road. Got blood flowing. Woo! And one. And two. And one. Oh. Uh, we're on the lower Provo, getting ready to do some fly fishing for some rainbow and brown trout. It's cold! It's really cold outside. What's the temp? Uh, about three or four degrees. <laughs> I got a new face shield, badass pink Woo! beanie. I'm gonna wear this like a behind 
everything you're doing today, big time. From tying your hooks, to your knots, to your weights, everything's gotta be very precise because the fish are very finicky. They won't hit anything that doesn't look like the ordinary. It's easy to get them to hit. It's putting them in the net. Nice. Just keep the angle other way, other way, other way. Yep, let him do his thing. You gonna show me how to net? I'm gonna show you how to net. Just take your time on it, man. Just take your Put that tip up high and come my way over. Get it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, look at the color on that, dude. And just like that, Chris was hooked up. Yes! He was starting to warm up a little, and we started catching fish. And losing fish, too. Oh. God dang it! All right, let's roll out of this one. All right, we're getting ready to move spots. Uh, we caught about four or five fish. Uh, we're going up to this other little house. It has a little bit of overhang. Kind of creates some shade. There's a nice little riffle in there. Um, hopefully, we'll catch some bigger trout. Chris's secret spot behind the red house definitely provided some cover and a deeper habitat for these fish. Despite some really promising conditions, we decided to move back to our first spot. Back is well worth the hike. As the day went on, we landed more and more fish. How's it going, Ryan? It's going, man. It's a nice one here. They weren't exactly the giants we wanted, but it was still a steady bite. Catching a few. This is my favorite right here. This is the brown trout. We're gonna let her go. Between the changes in conditions and Ryan brushing up on his fly fishing skills, we felt like we had them dialed in. Chris on fire! It's like the seventh one already. We're not saying we landed all our fish, but we were still determined to find a giant. That's what I'm here for. Let it go. Cast after cast, hookup after hookup, we overcame the elements, and we finally got a big one. No, 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 dude, dude. This is a good one, bro. Oh, my tear froze. Keep it there, keep it there. Don't move, don't move. You don't need to move. You ever seen a fish that likes ho hos and twinkies? You're about to. So we've been out here searching all day for the beautiful rainbow trout. This is what the lower Provo has to offer this time of the year. Beautiful is, specimen right here. This Got is our what butts I come here kicked, for. but we end up getting a little Twinkie eater. Pretty solid fish. And Ryan, how much fun was that on super light tackle? Dude, it's insane. Absolutely insane. This is what I come here for every time. The whole fight was finesse, dude. Yeah, all finesse. I'm gonna let her go, and we're gonna catch some more. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Here we go. All right, so we moved to this next spot, and the uh, current looks ripping. It looks awesome. I knew they were here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Just stay here. Don't don't walk her down. This is insane, dude. She ran right under the rock. There you go. With the day coming to a close, we tried to land one or two more trout. Oh, that's a beautiful brown. Oh, dude, look at the colors on that beautiful one. Beautiful brown. We've been working at this all day, and we've been on them all day, and this one's mo by far the prettiest. Look at the colors on this one. Look at that. Look at that, look at the reds. Is that not crazy, guys? Guys, this is what we're here for. Brown trout, absolutely epic. Let me put her in the water, guys. And in the final moments, we found one last rainbow. Oh, dude, hell yeah, right behind him, dude. All right, 
that's a wrap. We pulled a brown. Nice little rainbow out of here. It's starting to get really cold again, so I think we're gonna head out and get some grub. We may have been bested by the mountain, but we conquered the river and overcame the cold. We reunited old friends and made new ones along the way. So stay tuned for more fly fishing and an epic day on the snowmobiles in Utah, part two.